Hello everybody, I'm Emma Bilhorn and today I'm going to talk about DNA. Here is my DNA model. It's made up of a phosphate, backbone, and nitrogenous bases of adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. Adenine and thymine bind together and cytosine and guanine bind together in equal proportions of Chargaff's ratio. The nitrogenous bases practice base stacking, which is basically when they stack really close together because they're hydrophobic and trying to stay away from water. The bases are planar and they're 3.4 Armstrongs apart. Then we have the phosphate backbone, which is two strands, is negatively charged, making the DNA molecule negatively charged. It's hydrophobic or hydrophilic, which means it likes water, and it has phosphate and sugar groups. DNA strands practice handedness, which basically means if they go up to the right like this, they're right handed. If they go up to the left like this, they're left handed. This is right handed and it's what appears in most light forms. Then we have major grooves and minor grooves. Major grooves are large gaps between the loops and minor grooves are small gaps. Major grooves are what proteins bind to and minor gaps proteins don't usually bind to. Then we have hydrogen bonding, which is how nitrogenous bases bind together. This is when positive and negative attraction occurs between partially charged molecules. We have adenine and thymine, which have two hydrogen bonds and guanine and cytosine, which have three and this is a very weak form of bonding. Then we have purines and pyrimidines. Purines is adenine and guanine, and they have two rings. Pyrimidines are cytosine, thymine, and uracil. Uracil is only an RNA, and it only has one ring. Then we have ribose carbons. This is one prime, two prime, five prime, and three prime. One prime is just how the bases attach together and where they attach. Two prime is if it has an oxygen or no oxygen. RNA has an oxygen and DNA deoxyribose does not have an oxygen. Then we have three prime. Three prime is basically as we make polymers, we attach to the previous nucleotide and five prime is above the sugar ring and it's the attachment to the previous nucleotide. DNA has antiparallelism, which means it one strand is five prime to three prime, and one strand is three prime to five prime, and it basically goes in opposite directions, as you can see. Then I'm gonna talk about high salt concentration in DNA. This basically makes the high salt concentration cancels out the negative charge of the phosphate backbone, and this makes the cation field basically make the entire molecule much more stable and it also increases the melting point. So yeah, as the salt concentration increases, the DNA becomes more stable and has a higher melting point. And I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.